My name is Wes Hurley. I, I identify as a filmmaker. Um, I do producing, directing, editing, and writing. Uh, I've done a ton of different projects. Um, everything from being an actor and PA to writing, directing, producing, filming and editing everything myself to working with a medium-sized crew. Yeah, so for me it was, um, I was inspired, this was like in the late, no, early 2000s I think is when the horror movie 28 Days Later came out and it was the first movie that was, well supposedly probably wasn't the first movie, but the first movie that I read about that was shot in a kind of like prosumer type camera that anybody could afford. I mean like I couldn't really afford it but I put it on my credit card, I bought it used from eBay and it was so exciting because it kind of gave me permission to feel like, okay, like, you know, equipment is so pricey and it, sometimes I think it gets in the way of feeling like, who am I to do this? I don't have this stuff, you know, I can't afford this stuff. And that felt like a big transition in the industry, like, oh, anybody can use this camera. But I think so, there's so many jobs that, yeah, people don't realize that they exist or they do, but they just don't think about them. Um, and in terms of you know, even making money, I think for somebody who's like, they're not attached or obsessed about being like the writer or director, there's lots of jobs that can pay really well. And I would, you know, for people who are really interested in film, um, I would encourage them to research all those different positions like sound, for example. Um, some people are so hard to find in the city and they're so expensive they know we're free <laughs> yeah i mean unfortunately i never had like an aha moment that i think we all hope for is to like be discovered all of a sudden that your career takes off but i've had incremental things like when this first feature that i made without any crew uh, it premiered in seattle and we sold out at the egyptian and we got like a standing ovation and i was like oh my god i'm doing something right i think as artists like we need those confirmations maybe at least once in a couple of years at least, <laughs> where it's like somebody or something happens where it's like, okay, maybe I'm on the right track, right? So the advice people to maybe, I mean, not lower your expectations necessarily, but maybe reimagine what success looks like and maybe it takes years, you know, it takes a long time for a lot of people. So if you can be content with, you know, doing sound or being a really good, film composer, a really good DP, a really good um, assistant director, whatever. Um, it's worth it to research and look and then you can still work in the industry that you love. Hopefully we'll continue to love as you work in it.